Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. This is Stair Quest. I really don't play a lot of the indie games, but I saw this one come up on a forum somewhere and I just, I just, I had to go check it out. There's a, it's a free game, so check out the link below to, uh, to go give it a try for yourself. But it seems to be a very involved game, which is an homage to the old Sierra games of yore and their propensity to have staircases that are, oh, I don't know, impossible to navigate. King's Quest IV, looking at you. But it actually has a fully fleshed out story. And from what I saw from the instruction manual and just playing for like the first 10 seconds, there seems to be like a lot of really good humor in the game. And you saw the logo when it first started up, it was a combination of the Sierra logo and Cedric the Owl. I love it. So let's give it a try. It's an old text parser game, and apparently, according to the manual, it knows almost every single verb known in the English language, so the text parser system should be quite interesting. The realm of Castle Wood is in despair, as famine, war, disease, and unnatural disaster wreak havoc upon the land. Good King Jonathan seeks the counsel of a wise old soothsayer. Seek ye out the orb of stars, she tells King Jonathan in a manly voice. Says the king, the orb of stars is but a legend. The soothsayer replies with a sly grin, even in legend one may find the truth, my lord. So King Jonathan dispatches his bravest knight, Sir Devon, to quest for the fabled orb of stars. Little does he know that his own daughter, Princess Ingrid, has also set out in search of the legendary relic. So Devon, I know, is, is, a, is a play on Quest for Glory's Devon Aindale, who is the main character. Ingrid, I'm not sure. Uh, Ingrid may have been just sort of invented. Uh, Ingrid, there, there must be. It must be another Quest for Glory reference. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. Special abilities, archery and noblesse oblige, and edged weapon bonus and chivalry, none of which you actually need in the game because all you do is climb stairs. Now, Sir Devon, you gotta love because it's, it's a Quest for Glory thing, so we'll start with him. Welcome to Stair Quest. Use your arrow keys to move your character. You can interact with the world using our state-of-the-art text parser. For instance, try entering, look stairs, talk stairs, and press escape to enter the options. Good luck on your quest to retrieve the orb of stars, brave Devon. So what are the options? Oh, we've got slow, normal. So you can actually slow it down, which apparently make the game kind of easy. So I guess all you do is navigate the stairs. Oh, the boss key. We got to see what that does. Stair replacement, stair construction, stair R&D, miscellaneous, $2.2 million. All right, I'll bite. Look, you're standing on a rocky path. Rivulets of fiery lava course around you, creating an almost unbearable heat. You wonder why these stairs were built here in the first place, perhaps for ritual sacrifices? Look, stairs. You see stairs. So many stairs. Talk stairs. Well, bite. You rack your brain trying to come up with a fitting opening line to initiate conversation. You come up with disparagingly empty. Come here often? No. How's it going? No. Want to make out? Uh, at least buy them a dinner first. You decide to remain quiet. All right. Let's give the stairs a try. Now, it looks like the number keys do work if you have numlock off. So, it looks like it's just kind of taking it easy on us for now. Unless there's any hidden little traps or anything like lava shooting out of the walls or something. But hey, level one complete, done. Climbing a few stairs is hardly a challenge for the bravest knight in all the land. You are just a handsome little devil, look at you. Uh, is there a save function, by the way? All right, there is. I like the music here too, so I'm guessing these are ledges and yeah, that's death. Ow. <laughs> Thanks for playing Stair Quest. Next time, be more careful. Oh, man, this guy knows exactly what Sierra's up to. No, I think there will be some more for today. Don't worry. Yeah, so it's old school. Whether the stairs curve or not doesn't really matter. And this is probably a one-way thing. Oh, wait, I didn't look around. The shadows of night blanket the mountains in a cerulean hue. Flickering torches illuminate your path, casting their light upon an engraved silver plaque mounted into the stone wall. Okay. Read plaque. It says... Short line, longer line, longer line, two shorter lines, longer line, three longer lines, and it's signed by Ken Williams. Oh, that must be the design of the design code of the stairs. The stairs in the dark blue cavern wind their way up to the plateau and then onwards to an exit. Their purplish color and smooth surface tells you that they were intricately carved by someone who truly cared about their art and passion. You have a feeling these will be a cinch to climb. All right, done. 
More stairs, no matter. I must continue the climb. The orb beckons me. Oh man, this is like every Sierra game you've ever played. The stairs wind their way through a cave that once a month's been a mine. Precious gems line the wall. The corpses of failed adventurers sit at the foot of the deep ravines. Talk corpses. The corpses are just silent, and they're supposed to be that way. Look, gems. This appears to be a yellow spinel. Spinel, or is it spinel? I think it's spinel. It's the magnesium aluminium member of the larger spinel group from the minerals. It has the formula MgAl204, and the cubic crystal system, its name comes from the Latin spina, or arrow. Spina? 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 I don't know. I don't know Latin that well. It's been years. All right, up we go. I'm gonna do this on normal speed. I wonder if there's like an achievement system if you- oh god, this is so narrow. This is so narrow, I'm gonna die. <laughs> My stomach is clenched! Okay, 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 I'm not gonna save after every step unless things get really nasty. Uh, take... Spinel. Mm, you're really concentrating on climbing the stairs and stuffing your pockets. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is no problem. I got this. I've been playing Sierra games since I was but a wee lad. Done. Stairs. So many stairs. What does it all mean? Am I being tested by someone? Something. So if the score up there is to be believed, that means there are 500 levels and I'm on level 3. Up we go. I'm going to be really super impressed that there actually are 500 levels at- Oh! What is- th What? That's not nice. Alright, now I've really got to be on my toes. Uh, Alright, not a big deal. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Each step brings me closer to my goal. You're walking along the parapet of an ancient fortress. The color scheme looks straight out of the Black Cauldron. Oh, it's a love letter to every Sierra game, not just King's Quest. And I would imagine, I've never actually played Black Cauldron, but maybe the music here is also an homage to Black Cauldron. Much like the introduction music was very King's Questy, I got distracted. The music is actually very lovely. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, ow. Oh, you can't hit escape to like reload as soon as you screw up. You gotta wait. That's your punishment. I can do this. I'll see you at the top. Oh, oh my god, I was so close. All right, the, the goal here, you can't just go straight up nine or just like the diagonal. It's, they made it just the wrong angle so that wouldn't work. It's sort of like six and nine at six. And nine. Oh, I see what. Ah, oh, six nine. Uh. All right, so just. Oh man, this is harder than it looks. Made it. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Say the word enough times and it hardly sounds like a word anymore. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Oh no, it's the cat staircase from King's Quest Three. Look, cats. There are but two things that come close to the glory of stairs. Cats. Cats and mazes. What's that blue cat up there? It looks like a little unicorn. So if I touch one of these cats, I'm guessing... Yep, down I go. There's also a lion. Why? And Garfield? Is that you? I hate Mondays. Yep, that's Garfield, all right. This must have taken so long to make with all these custom things. Okay, let's plan my route. So it looks like if I go to the right of the line, up and around... Between those two black cats and over to the top of the white one, we should be fine. All right, let's go. Why is there a lion here? Don't do anything with the lion except walk around it. It's a lion. Got it. Okay. Oh, oh God, this is tight. Okay. Oh, no. The cat's ears got me. Oh, God, this is so tense. All right. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Must. Thread the needle. Yes! Oh, the air thins. My legs burn. Yes, I must continue. For the king! Ooh. These are games I'm not familiar with. This kind of looks space questy, but I might be wrong. Honestly, you're not sure what you're looking at here. There's a desert, a couple of massive vines extending skyward, and oh, some creepy looking stairs staking the way through at the landscape. Just go with it. Snaky stair. Oh, God, this is going to be so difficult. Okay. I got this. What the? Nope. I'm starting to hate myself. All right, we're doing well, we're doing well. Narrow, snaky stairs. Oh God. Oh. 
Oh, God, imagine speed running this game and you can make no mistakes and you have to like know the timing of each key press. Could have found these infernal stairs, but every one I send a thousand more vex me. Are there really 500 levels this? It looks like I'm climbing a giant who's also climbing this like kind of Shadow the colossus -y. You stand atop the eternal giant, drops of rain dance off its chiseled features. Remember reading stories of this colossal statue as a child. It was one of the seven gargantuan mon monuments spread throughout the realm, left behind by an ancient race whose origins remain shrouded in mystery. Yes, yeah, so this is... So it's not just an homage to old Sierra adventure games, but just love letters to video games in general. So this one doesn't look too hard. Yeah, piece of cake. This is an interesting one. You're scaling a high, verdant mountain high along the clouds. A llama looks upon your journey, silently judging your every step. Talk llama. You politely ask the llama if it knows where you can find the orb of stars. It responds with a strange noise you can only assume means no in llama speak. All right, up we go. All these pieces of music are also independent from level to level. This took a lot of work. Kudos. All right, down we go. Come on, Devin, you can do it. Okay, I can do this in first. I think it's just giving me some low balls, some easy ones. I hope this llama is not going to try and mess with me. Llama. Thank you. Thank you for not spitting at me or doing something really jerky that would knock me off the stairs. Da -na -na -na. Step by step, I come closer to reaching the top. Every step must be placed that it don't fall off. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Escher. All right, down we go. Oh, please tell me the stairs aren't, like, invisible here. Oh, there I am. Okay. There I am. So left to right. Up, up, up. Stop. Down. Surprisingly merciful. All right. Ooh, the ice level. Oh, please tell me there's not ice physics. No, it says the path is slippery, but it's not doing anything to hinder me. Let's see. All right, first try. Let's do this. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, you've got to hurry. Oh, shit. No. Oh, my God. It's so close. It's so close. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Don't, Yeti. Oh, God. Heavy panting. Oh, that was mean. Oh, what? Can that... Is it... Can it be? Yes, that's the orb of stars. All your effort was worth it. Your quest is nearly at an end. Why do I not trust you? Unless you get all the rest of the points from getting the orb. That would be kind of a cute little trick. And these are really narrow stairs. Oh my gosh. Uh, first try, come on. Do it. Why are there no railings? Maybe that's what the orb of stars does. It invents railings. Ah, oh, made it. It seems like only four colors, magenta, cyan, black, and white, are capable of thriving at such high altitudes. Look, orb. Time and space seem to bend around the legendary orb of stars. Take orb. Oh, you reach out to grasp the orb of stars. You hear a booming voice emit from the sphere. You have not yet proven yourself worthy, stare child. You must return to where you began your ascent if you wish to claim your prize. What? With a blast of fright... With a bright flash of light, the orb of stars disappears. You turn around and breathe your weary sigh and begin your descent. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got to go back down the stairs. I have a feeling that it's going to make me just go up and down, up and down the stairs infinitely until I max out my score. And I'm willing to do it over the course of a few months. All right. So it just pulled like a ghost and goblins on me. All right. Back down we go. Let's do it again. This is even more scary coming down. Oh no, it begins already. The orb of stars says I am not worthy. What does it mean? No matter, I must prove myself and save the kingdom. All right, back down. Does that mean the Yeti's gonna chase me the other direction now? Maybe the game has a couple more little tricks up its sleeve. No, oh, bugger all. Right, carefully, carefully. No missteps. No, come now. I wasn't even close. Maybe that's what it means because it's slippery. Maybe the edges are kind of artificially narrowed. 
Uh, come on! Oh, I wait, some ice physics just happened there. I think I saw what happened when I stopped. I did slide, so I can't stop. I can't stop. That's what's killing me. All right, so one go. Let's test this theory. Yeah, see, when I stop, whoop, that's the trick. Do not stop. No stopping. Hi, Yeti. What you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? Actually, that'd be kind of a cool speedrunning technique, like once you get to a straight spot. Burp, burp. I almost want to see what happens when he gets you, but I don't. My legs carry me deeper, the air tastes sweeter, the stairs taketh, but they also giveth to the truly worthy. Am I truly worthy? Alright, this one's not too bad. It's kind of easy. Who invented stairs? Are they named after their inventor? Nice to meet you, I'm Sir Reginald Stair, and I invented the stairs you're standing on right now. Would you care for a pastry? Another theory would be you're only worthy if you can make it all the way up the stairs without saving. That would be a really jerky move. So you either have to go all the way up and down the stairs uh, 500 times, or you make it all the way up without saving. It's worth a try. But those first couple, like this, uh, those middle levels, like something like this isn't so hard. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to experiment a little bit. We'll see if I'm worthy when I reach the bottom. But otherwise, yeah, I have a theory, you do have to do it without saving. As I retrace my steps down the staircase as I ascended before, I can't help feel my quest is being unnecessarily extended. <laughs> what if the stairs are a metaphor for something deeper? Life's journey? Good and evil? Redemption? Yeah, this is the killer one. All right. Ugh. Oh, man. No. Ah. <laughs> I was thinking about something else. <laughs> I made it so far. No. <laughs> oh my god. I can't make it two steps off this platform. Slowly. Carefully. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, the hardest part is that, uh, that flat part then coming down next to that sort of, that vein over there. That looks like the pitfall alligator down there. Is this a pitfall level? I don't know. Oh, with each step I feel like I'm descending deeper into the pits of hell. What does the orb want from me? Oh, the cat level. Can I go over here on the railing? I can. See, here there are railings. Oh, but the game is so upset at the fact that the railings exist here that, like, you just, like, phase through it. It's like, nope, I reject your railing reality. All right, we'll take the same path we came. Nope, no, we're... Wait, no, I was supposed to go through the, the green-eyed cats. Maybe that's why that cat has red eyes. It's like, don't you dare. I wonder. Talk Mananen. What's the point? You need some sort of special understanding the language of creatures dough in your ears to interpret his response. Oh, Mananen is here. He must be the red-eyed cat. I don't see any wizards here, just a bunch of cats. <laughs> nice touch. Okay, down we go. Oh, no, Garfield got me. I screwed up. My bad. I saved here. I wonder if I can thread the needle between these two cats here. Nope. I'm gonna hear that sound of my sleep. No, wait, no, I'm taking the wrong way again. And then down and around here, crap. Actually, it looks like I should just be able to kind of sneak over on the side here. Yeah, there we go. Am I descending or is the kingdom rising? All right, we're getting near the bottom now. All right, these stairs were kind of tricky last time, but I think I can, nope. All right, made that part. Oh my god, I made it all the way down the stairs and I blow it there, really? Oh, come on. <laughs> nope, don't let the game win. This is what the game wants from you. All right, these stairs are a little bit more manageable. There we go, good. Whew. I'm sure I'll see these stairs again. It's been difficult to tell where I end and where the stairs begin. What is left of me when the stairs consume my every thought, my every action? All right, so this one we got to be a little bit careful because that rock is go- Wait, that rock has already fallen. How do we- Oh, is this like the King's Quest 3 thing when I have to go around the rock and around the back? 
Yeah, okay, we're fine. No big deal. NBD. Does a hero's worth lie in the foes he has vanquished, the lives he has saved, or is it the stairs he has climbed? All right, here we are in the spinel room again. I got distracted by my commentary. Ow. Okay, carefully. Ugh. Oh, really? I don't, no, I refuse to turn the speed down. I can do this. I rise above. Like my childhood friend once said, everything in life is easy. It's just you keep screwing up. It's all that work. Oh God, that's so skinny. Why is coming up so much easier? Oh my God. <laughs> See, my downfall is that I'm too impatient. So I've really, oh man. Just one step at a time. That's right, come on, you're not being timed. Just relax. Oh god, I, I, I hit it twice. I hit it twice, I was so close. <laughs> Devious. Okay, I think I made it past the hardest part. All right, come on. Slow. Slow, getting wider. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank God. Why stairs, what does it all mean? There must be some meaning behind it all. Okay, we're almost done. All right, so this one's no, no, no biggie. I can do this. So close now, can't give up. The people of Castle Wood are counting on me. Oh, after a long descent tinged with deja vu, you are relieved to find the orb of stairs. Wait, no, orb of stars. I know, I see what you're doing there. Awaiting your arrival, the King's salvation is at hand. Is it really? Is it really? No, it's not. The game is just teasing me. I'm not going to be worthy until I can do this without saving. I know it. Oh, you have done where, star child? Stare, child. Stare. But your quest is not yet complete. Uh, that's me. Hi. You must, <laughs> you must ascend the stairs once more to prove your worth. Devin's like, you son of a bitch. For it is only through traveling by stairs can you find the true character of man. Life, my child. Life is a ceaseless quest with its ups and downs. Life given meaning through stairs. Devin's just like seething. <laughs> but when you're all done this many times, my child, and then only then can you reach out and touch the orb of star stairs. Now it's stairs. Uh... Devin? Hello? Damn it. This is why people don't like me, isn't it? Oh! Oh, oh! Okay, God. I thought I was seriously I had to go up and down five times. I was like, oh, it's created by uh, several people. Jess Morissette, Chris Ushko, Kevin Wallace, Frederick Olson, Gareth Millward, Trolls Player. See, now I want to go back and um, really kind of look at everything and talk to everything because there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of jokes here. I'm, I think I'm missing a lot of references. Oh, and Roberta Williams. How nice. Hey, 500 out of 500. I'll take it. Ingrid and Devon will return in Stare Quest 2 to Stare is Human. Adorable. Yes, indeed. No more for today. That, ladies and gentlemen, was Stare Quest. I, uh, I challenge you. Let's see if we can do this with minimal saves. Whoever can do this without saving, or maybe we should do like a a speed run test or something just to get to the top. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay, well, go check out this game and look at everything. See if you can find some references that I missed because I got kind of really wrapped up in just, well, the act of climbing stairs, really. So, until that day, I, as always, remain... Good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.